Hi and welcome to Mrs B's Arts and Crafts. Okay, today I have made some lovely girly binoculars which I'm going to take out later and see what I can see through them. Um, if you want to see how to make these then watch the video at the end but I'm going to show you how to make a similar pair but for boys. Okay, so if you want to watch this one girls, wait till the end of the video. Let's get on with it. Okay, so first you're going to need are three paper toilet roll tubes. You need to cut one in half so if you can't do this you might get grown up to do it but you just need to flatten it and cut it and you just need one half of this so this is because if you make binoculars and you do them too close together you can't see properly and your nose gets in the way so if you make a little gap it means that you can see through them better okay so what you're going to do is fold this into this sort of shape so it looks like a W okay, or an M depending on which way you've got it and you're going to put that in the middle of your two rolls. Now what you need to do first of all though is paint your rolls, which I've done here. Okay, so I've got two green ones that are full and then I've got my little spacer one in the middle. And like I say, you need to attach these together. So once you've painted it, it might come a bit loose again, so just squeeze it in. Okay, and then what you're going to do is use some masking tape to make sure that this all stays in place. Okay, I've cut the masking tape off already. Now don't worry about seeing the masking tape because I'm going to cover it up, okay? Just like I did with the girls' one, you can't see the tape. Okay, so that'll be the same with this one. So if you just put the tape over the two big tubes first, like that, make sure they're level, and then turn it over, and then it's easier for you to put your spacer in the middle, like that, okay? And then Fold your tape over again, like that. Okay, keeping it quite tight and firm together. And then that is your binocular shape. And as you can see now, I've got space for my nose, so it makes it a bit more comfortable. Now, because you don't want to see the parcel tape, what I've done is I've got a piece of patterned paper. Now what I thought I'd do for this one is some zigzags. It can be like camouflage a bit like safari print, okay? So for the boys, if you're going on a safari looking for all these lions and tigers, okay, you can put some of this over the top. You can paint it as well. I have found these paint sticks, they're really good actually. And um, what you could do with a black paint stick is go over and do some camouflaging if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this just to make it quicker for you to see it. But if you want to decorate them, that's absolutely fine. You do that. Okay, now I'm going to glue that there like that and then cut another strip to fit. So just bear with me a second while I do this. So put your glue on your strip. And that's the top, so you don't want to see the join. So go around like that and glue that on. Just press it down nice and firmly. And then get another piece just to do this bit here. And the overlap piece will keep it all together. Okay, so there's just hold that for a little while just so it makes sure it definitely adheres together so it doesn't come undone okay and then you can see now you've got your little spacer in the middle to make them wider and you've got your safari print now to make them look a bit more like binoculars I've also put some strips of the same paper to go around the front and back of your lenses I'm going to use my glue tape snail for this just because it's easier it's quicker but if you've got wet glue or a print stick that works absolutely fine okay now you want to make sure that the bit underneath is where this bit joins to because this is the underside of the binoculars so go all the way around I would say do this at the beginning but then you're not sure how they're going to fit in your roll and if you do it at the beginning you might get the joins on the wrong side a bit more of this on here Oops, that one. You need four strips, unless you just want to have the front of your binoculars with these on. But I'm going to do both. Again, this is the back of my binoculars. That's where the join wants to be. Okay, 
Now if you didn't want to have, to have time to paint your binoculars, you could actually just use some green paper or card and go round like we did, we've done before with the Easter chip, we just use paper. You could do the same with your binoculars. If you haven't watched that video, check that one out. And there's another strip. These are a real cool idea actually if you're having a party and you wanted to do a boys party or a girls party, you wanted to go looking for things, have a safari party, you can give these away as treats at the end of the party for your friends to take home. And they're really cool and they're fun to make too. So. Turn it over to the bottom. around the edge you can see they're all matching and because it looks like a bit of an animal print with the zigzags makes it like a cool safari looker okay right now you're going to want to be able to wear these and not lose them so like the girls ones we're going to put some string on them okay now the easiest way to do this is to use a punch if you don't have a punch you can use pencil and paper uh, pencil and plasticine and just make a punch in the end. Just decide which one's going to be the front, which going to be back. I think that's going to be the, the back of mine. So I'm going to punch myself a hole in one side and again in the other side. Then you're going to need to take your string and go in the hole, tie it on the outside. Doesn't matter if you see the string on the outside with a knot, makes them look more realistic because they have got the strings haven't they on the outside. And just cut the bit you don't want off and do the same with the other side. And then cut the extra off and there you have them, you've got your binoculars, you can pop them over your head. Just like that, wear them around your neck and then go looking for wild things. Maybe bird hunting, bird spotting on your nature walks. Hope you enjoy making them and don't forget to send me your pictures in. Send them to my email address, thisisbeesartsandcrafts at gmail.com. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.